Hi, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest. On today's Make A Minute, I'm gonna show you how to make this spoiler board. So you can use clamps like this to hold down your workpiece. For this project, you're going to need some 18mm MDF. This is what we recommend using here at Ooze Nest. You can get this from any builder's merchants and they will cut it to the specific size you require, which is available in your manual. In Aspire, I've created pocket tool paths at 18.2mm and 2mm to insert our nuts and bolts in a grid format. To hold the MDF in place onto the machine, we're going to use two quick clamps. We're also going to add a sacrificial ball to the underside of the MDF so we don't hit the machine when cutting all the way through. Here the machine is cutting the pockets for the prong nuts and the through holes, rotating the board three rows in for the back section of the spoiler board. Now we've finished machining, we can add in our prong T nuts and also add a bit of glue to keep everything fixed in place. Now that we've fixed our spoiler board into place using the T nuts, we're going to run a surfacing pass to make sure everything is level. One maker's minute spoiler board complete. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.